Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with a flying robot, which is, well, very hated win condition of many people, but as the meta stays, I don't think it's the most viable pick, and that's why I'm gonna prove you guys wrong that it's still very playable. Uh, obviously, flying robot doesn't score well against Viking Bridge Spawn and especially doesn't score well against a Necromancer, which is like the currently the second best counter to a flying robot archetype as a whole. I'm gonna be facing a Steel Bait in this game number one, and there's the number one counter to a flying robot archetype, and that's gonna be obviously the uh, Fawn Hot. And okay, my opponent will be. Having also bullets, which is interesting pick, but like, who am I to judge? I'm gonna play Mother's Devil. There's no reason to keep that. And, okay, my opponent will be playing the deck that is structured like a steel bait, but will play apes instant. And these apes will be mad, going for my tower, dealing some damage before the footman will take them out. And right now he has to deal with these footmen. He plays a... Flying Robot, which I think is like the most principal approach to counter the footman. Absolutely acceptable from my opponent. Very nice plate. And right now we are gonna just go for a Flying Robot because we've got a positive mana trade out of that uh, out of that uh, recent set of trades. We're gonna go actually for a T-Rex here, and I'm gonna go for Digger. If he predicts with with a false, I'm gonna add a Poison, but I didn't need to do that. My T-Rex will connect to the tower and that's gonna be a very nicely done connection. He has to still spend bullets to clean this up and that's absolutely fine by me. I'm gonna play just Mother Devil in the back, there's no reason why not to. I, I actually don't want to play anything else right now because I'm pretty sure that he's just waiting for another opportunity to just jump with apes into the action and ideally it's something that doesn't happen. I'm gonna play T-Rex here to eliminate the Bomb Girl. Obviously, one of the most annoying cards in the game, but we're playing Flying Robots, so, so we are not like allowed to complain about in our annoyance because for some people we are annoying uh, uh, ourselves. So that, that's the word I was looking for. We're gonna go for the counter push from these apes and we've taken the left side tower so I think this game is officially over. My opponent didn't play it perfectly and that's why he lost this game. I think if played perfectly he can absolutely hold this deck, especially because my best counter to a Mongol is bigger. Once you catch it, I have to spend poison, it's just like a lot of mana to spend on something that is just inconvenient. and. If you stack multiple bomb girls on the map, it's gonna be very annoying for a flying crow player to even set up the attack. So yeah, uh, I think I've done some tutorials how to beat a flying robot with a steel bait in the past. You can obviously check my videos out. Right now, let's jump to the game number two. And in this matchup, we're gonna be facing Mike 2. So I assume Mike 1 is gone for some reason, and that's why he has... Made another account. I'm gonna just play helicopter in the back. No reason not to. It's one of the safest opening plays out of us because uh, we don't rely on helicopter always being uh, behind the flying robot. We kinda are happy if sometimes we get a uh, bomb girl or uh, I mean a bomb girl. Uh, if I get a, a mother devil or T Rex or uh, or helicopter, so like we have a couple options. My opponent will be playing Bomberman, which is very annoying card to deal with if you don't have poison. But since I have poison, it's gonna be a very fun time for me uh, for sure. I'm gonna play Footman against these apes, and they should uh, be cleaning this up very nicely. Right now, my opponent has to overspend on that, and at this point, I'm pretty sure he knows I'm playing Flying Robot, so there's no reason not to play the Flying Robot straight away. So we're gonna just go in because. We kinda have the momentum, he still has to clean up our footman and by the time it is done we're gonna just be uh, out in the open uh, attacking and uh, thriving. So he's gonna be playing Dark Knight which is very good response against our mother devil. I think it's gonna give him more uh, breathing room 
as for now we're gonna play actually poison here and I try to play a digger here so I get to eliminate this bomberman a bit earlier I hope that my uh, robo pups will connect to the tower some of them are I mean it's it's not the biggest of the deals like I've said this matchup won't be as comfortable for us as I've expected in the first place because he also has a dark knight so he's gonna be having dark knight and apes I'm gonna play flying robot right here because it's, there's pretty much no reason why I shouldn't. He's gonna play a digger and from this point forward I think I'm gonna just ignore every digger he plays because it's just not that threatening of a card. If we get the perspective of what else does he have in this uh, deck, so we're gonna be playing a Funk here. I'm gonna play Footman actually against this Dark Knight to eliminate it ASAP. Very cool to see, and right now I'm gonna just go for Poison and Digger once again. He's gonna get a good cleanup on my push, and unfortunately this Bomberman will also get a last shot. My Mother Devil though stays on one health, and that's gonna force a very uncomfy response out of him, and I think that's pretty much the reason why he messed up this defense. If that Mother Devil didn't stay alive, I think he would have uh, had a way better chance of dealing with that. I'm gonna right now counter these apes, get some good trades, set up another push, we won't be even needing that because we held the left side and that's gonna be GG's nice play against, I would say very difficult matchup, he played it also very well, thing that was that I had ver two very good counters against his Bomberman and they definitely got the value in this game. Our third opponent will be a Russian guy by the looks of it from a uh, uh, from a zero metal category so we're gonna just counter this font cake with ease very basic stuff and by the first looks of the matchup I think we're gonna be playing against another steam base so I'm gonna just play digger here try to target this bomb girl and for some reason digger just ignores the, her well that's gonna suck a bit so i'm gonna just play poison i need to get rid of this bomb girl asap I think he's gonna be playing fall horde and that's not bad of a play but at the same time i'm not a huge fan of that because right now he is absolutely out of uh, the air counters and as soon as i deal with this bomb girl he's gonna be having a very huge trouble with dealing with my flying robot at least i hope so so i'm gonna i'm gonna just go with a okay that's gonna be a very good swordsman out of him i didn't expect him to actually play that but yeah we'll have to deal with that uh, right now we're gonna play some footman he's gonna be playing uh, a bomb tower which is obviously a brilliant choice against the footman uh, Wonder how uh, will it score against other uh, troops of mine. I'm gonna play Digger here to eliminate the bomb girl and I'm gonna be successful at that. And by the looks of it, this flying robot was quite a waste. He kinda played around it very nicely and I'm gonna try to get the counter of this. Funkek Baby T-Rex doesn't... Uh, doesn't fail at doing so and right now we're just in kind of a reset i'm gonna play a helicopter here so he doesn't get a bomb girl lock on there we go i think he still may play a bullets to buy to be more annoying but i mean he definitely should it would have been a good play even though it's like uh, taking a negative mana trade at the same time i would have taken a negative mana trade at defending that so uh, those are like a details uh, depending from matchup to matchup that you kind of have to know if you want to uh, thrive in this. So I'm gonna just play right now a very scary attack for him to deal with. He's gonna play bullets so his bullets will be a very good response against my flying robots so if that keeps up I think he's gonna be able to hold but right now he is having a very scary push on his tower and yeah I don't have digger to support so I'll be forced to reset and yet my troops are still uh, not getting cleaned up and they will deal some damage so that's very comfy for us. I'm gonna play a footman kick here, I'm gonna play another mother devil just forcing him to play very uncomfy response against that. I'm gonna play poison this time and actually bomb girl, okay bomb girl does a step over, very cool to see and I think actually 
Flying Robot or Digger will finish the story down. It's gonna be Digger this time, but could mean Flying Robot in another universe. GG, well played. We've beaten a Steel Bait. I don't think this uh, needs more explanation. Steel Bait obviously way better against Flying Robot with a uh, Fod Hut and not Bomb Tower, but it was the choice of my opponent. I respect picking Bomb Tower because air decks nowadays are very rare. You need this Bomb Tower against Viking Bridge Spam. And this time we're gonna be playing against, well, another Zero Metal player, so not a big surprise here, but he's gonna be called Vidis and it at least uh, has some Latin alphabet, so I'm gonna be able to read uh, his username for you. Uh, I'm gonna just play helicopter here, force out some response. It's not usually the best play because I, I mean, obviously, my opponent was able to respond to that. Even if he ignored that, I would think that's a good play because, well, there's no reason to be. Okay, he's, he's going in, so uh, I would uh, let that steel hammer go if he just uh, let it be. But since uh, he's uh, adding a footman keg, that would have been a tower, so I kinda had to react to that. He's also playing a very high tier move, which is this very high cannon, which uh, many of you may assume is a blunder, but actually it was a very smart move, so my mother devil uh, first of all dies, and second of all, I have some troubles with constructing a correct push, and indeed he achieved that, so... Uh, my opponent had a more of a trouble with cleaning up this push, right now only he has bullets, to clean it up, but had he have bullets or bomberman prior to that and played a bit better, I think that would have been a hold for him. So uh, the first play of his was very cool, but then he kinda uh, tripped over and kinda made uh, the life worse for himself because bomberman doesn't have to be played that high. Uh, I absolutely think he would be uh, chilling if had he played it lower. I'm gonna play right now a flank robot in the pocket. I don't think it's like the best play in this position, but at the same time he's very low on mana so I might just well take the second tower and maybe that's gonna force uh, the rage quit for him. Uh, he misses the timing on bullets so that means I'm gonna have a uh, robo pups on the tower. They don't deal too much damage but at the same time they are very annoying to deal with and they kind of make my helicopter stay alive a little longer. So that's gonna be GG's against this deck. I assume it was a default deck. I think, I don't think even he had any variation. So yeah, that was just a, a way how to win against default deck. Not too difficult, but at the same time, you have to know what to do because your opponent has a bomber, man. And the last game of the video will be against Danny Rizardo, who's gonna be having 10 medals and starts with Ice Tiny. So, Already, the chance of him playing uh, Super Ape 2.6 skyrocketed to the air. He's actually playing a Swordsman, so I still might expect some classic deck, but he's playing Super Ape, so that one at least stays the same. He's gonna play a Gunner, so I try, I'm gonna try to eliminate her with a T-Rex, and I think I'm gonna be successful at that. T-Rex will be taking a lot of damage, though, because the Gunner is one of the best responses to a T-Rex second in the game. Also, a fun fact, I know it was a couple of videos since I have said that, but T-Rex second is green and it's very nice to see T-Rex being back to its old glory. So I'm gonna just play Mother Devil, try to eliminate the Super Ape as soon as possible. He's gonna play Flying Bomb, so that's gonna be a nice thing going for us because right now we can play Helicopter and he doesn't have a good response against that, so Okay, Flying Robot, thanks for this devil and for this helicopter, that was perfect case scenario. I was already seeing this devil tanking for a tower for enough of the time that uh, that my copter will cross and also get targeted, but it wasn't the case. Very fortunately, Flying Robot will reach the Viking Tower. My opponent has resigned and that's gonna be the end of today's video. This 2.6 player didn't put up uh, much of a fight in this game, but still I think uh, against this variant I think we just have a very comfy advantage because his only card is a gunner and we have two good responses against it. So that's gonna be it from me in today's video. 
Make sure to try this deck out for yourself, uh, test the results if you enjoy playing it or not in this meta. I personally don't recommend this because of how much Viking there are, but I kinda am doing research myself on how meta works, so I kinda have to check every single deck. So yeah, thanks for watching till the end, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy Boom Arena content, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.